Yes, Todd, you want to marry me niece, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And by the 20,000 pounds, you can't pick the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, me marry Belinda Mace. Passepartout. Pick the come down. Yes, no lies. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. Unless Bob mixes, his his tricks. Around the world with... Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Six to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Six. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind maze. Around the world with... Coach to Memphis. But what shall we do in Memphis? Catch a riverboat and go down the Mississippi to New Orleans. Very well, monsieur. But what shall I pack for such a journey? Well, let me see. For such a trip as this, we will need um, a candle, rubber suction cup, several sheets of sandpaper, a hatchet, a long piece of carpet, three darts, and a spool of thread. And a spool of thread. I shall get them, monsieur. <laughs> They're going to Memphis, Mr. Fix. They won't get there, Mr. Fix. Do you have a plan? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? You heard of the James boys, Frank and Jesse? You don't mean... I do. Frank and Jesse are going to help us stop fog. Brilliant, Mr. Fix. I thought so, Mr. Fix. <laughs> Almost to Memphis, past part two, and then... <laughs> now what? This year's a hold-up. I'm Jesse James, and over yonder is my brother, Frank. He don't talk much, but he sure can shoot straight. Huh? <laughs> James, boy! Don't shoot! Keep him covered, Frank. All right, everybody off the coach. Empty your pockets. <laughs> Good old Frank. Two wallets and two stagecoach tickets. Much obliged, kids. Keep them covered, Frank. He is gone, monsieur, but Frank is still there. He does not move. He does not speak. Hmm. Let us see if we can make him move. Careful, Mr. Let's Freak James. Uh, perhaps. Fix tricks! Fix tricks! I'm afraid so. Well, he has not stopped us for long. We'll just get back into the coach and... Uh, just a damn minute there. Uh, let's see your tickets. Tickets? Tickets? Jesse James just stole them. Well, uh, sorry about that, but you got to have tickets to ride this coach. Surely, sir, you saw that man steal our tickets and our money. Regulations is regulations, and regulation number 06759... Says that nobody rides on this coach without showing me their tickets. No tickets, no ride. Very clear. But... No buts. Regulations. Now I gotta make up for lost time. Come back, come back. Wait, you can't do this. But he did. He's gone. Oh, parlez-vous, monsieur. What shall we do? Without a stagecoach, we shall never get to the river. Remember, learn to use what you have got, and you won't need what you have not. But what have we got? Feet. We shall walk. It can't be too far to the river. Send a telegram, laddie. Dear Lord Mays, plan worked perfectly. Fog is stopped. Sign Fix. Are you Mr. Fix? The same. Got a telegram in a package for you, Mr. Fix. For me? Blimey. Must be from Lord Mays congratulating me on my success. Let me see. Uh, you bumping booby without money and tickets. Fog will head down the river to New Orleans. Stop him if you can. But if you can't, 
open the box and follow the instructions. <coughs> Who needs a box? They can't possibly get to New Orleans. They're still miles from here. But, Monsieur Fogg, now that we are at the river, what can we do? We have no money and no boat. Remember, learn to use what you have got, and you won't need what you have not. What have we got? The hatchet, Passepartout. We shall build a raft. All right, laddie. Give me the package. All right, fellas. Bring in the crate. That's the package. How am I going to get that to New Orleans? No, no, friend. But it's your box. Can't leave it here. I think you will like New Orleans, Passepartout. It is very French. French, monsieur? In the United States? How can that be? Well... New Orleans was settled by the French in 1718 and remained French until it was sold to the United States in 1803. They sold the whole city? Not just the city, Passepartout. All of the Louisiana Territory, from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains and from the Gulf of Mexico to the Canadian border. Parlez-vous! That must be as big as the whole country of France. About four times as big. It was called the Louisiana Purchase and was one of the biggest bargains in history. But I still do not understand, monsieur. I, of all people who was born in Orléans, France, should love to visit New Orleans. But what good will it do us? How can it help us to get around the world in 80 days? There are ships in New Orleans that can take us to England. You forget we have no money? No, you forget. Learn to use what you have got, and you won't need what you have not. But what have we got? We have the fact that you were born in France. All right, matey, lower away. <coughs> take it off, take it off. All right, matey, lower away. <coughs> take it off, take it off. All right now, matey. We just gently lower it right into the center of the blooming boat. Easy, does it? Easy. Beautiful! Now, I'll just unhook the line and away we go. Whoa, fast! Whoa! And another thing. We will be arriving in New Orleans in time for Mardi Gras. What is Mardi Gras? Oh, it's a great celebration. A huge carnival. Everybody in the city wears a costume and a mask. There are parades and dancing and music. And it's ruled over by a king who is selected just for Mardi Gras. It sounds like fun, monsieur. It must be exciting to be king of the Mardi Gras. I hope we shall see him. I dare say we shall. Remember, learn to use what you have got, and you won't need what you have not. But all we have is this log! Precisely! We shall roll to New Orleans. Well, gentlemen, we are not having much success in our search for a king of the Mardi Gras. Well, perhaps, full regard, our rules are too strict. Nonsense. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a Frenchman who was born in Orleans. But we have tried everywhere, and... Come in. Gentlemen, I am Phileas Fogg, and this is my good friend Passepartout. I think we can help you. I understand you're looking for a king of the Mardi Gras. That is correct. We have had many applicants, but none fits all the requirements. Passepartout here does. Are you French, Passepartout? Oui, monsieur. And precisely where in France were you born? In Orléans, monsieur. You know that. We have found the new king of the Mardi Gras. Well, they got to New Orleans, Mr. Fix. So you had better open the box. Here is the instruction sheet. Passepartout is about to be made king of Mardi Gras. When he is, he will be able to command anyone to do anything. Blimey, even a boat to England. Particularly a boat to England. Now pay attention. This crate contains the makings of a haunted house. Now here is what you must do. But, Mr. 
dear Fogg, gentlemen, I am honored, but it is impossible. I have no time to be king. We must go around the world in 80 days so Fogg may marry Blind the Maze. But that is the whole idea, my boy. When you are king, you can command anything. That's correct, your highness. Just say the word and we will have a ship ready for you at the end of your rule. Parlez-vous! Oh, that I accept! And I hereby order a ship to be made ready to take us to England! Wait! <laughs> Let's see now. Snap section A to slot B and then bolt the yellow shaft D to point C2. Then assemble section XYZ. That must be the thingy bob and attach it to M with the... He is not king yet. First, according to custom, he must pass the test. Right, that's true. I plumb forgot. Test? A mere formality, my boy. You have to spend an hour in a haunted house. A haunted house? Nothing to it. There's no such thing as a haunted house, just part of the fun of Mardi Gras. Whoops, like a charm. <laughs> I'll fix that fog. Just wait till he shows up. Uh -uh, just in time. There they are. Now, remember, you must be out in one hour, and then we will crown you king of Mardi Gras. You are sure, monsieur, that there are no ghosts in there? Don't be silly, Passepartout. There are no such things as ghosts. We shall be out in one hour, gentlemen. Did you hear that, Mr. Fix? One hour, indeed. I won't be out of there in one week. <laughs> this will be easy, monsieur. Wait one hour, then open the door and... Parlez-vous! Look here! There is no doorknob on this side. The wall is blank. I suspect that we have been tricked, my boy. Fix tricks! Fix tricks! Oh, what shall we do? If we cannot get out, then I cannot be king. And if I am not king, then I cannot get the boat, and we will not get back to London. Very smart, lady. You're never going to catch that boat. <laughs> you have two choices, gentlemen. The right door or the left door. One is a maze, and you will be lost for hours. And one is... Uh, well, take your pick. ta -da! <laughs> I will look at them both, monsieur. <laughs> they both look the same, monsieur. Then let us start with the right one. But what if it is the labyrinth, monsieur Thorpe? It will twist around and around, and we will be lost for hours. Not at all, my boy. Hand me the spool of thread that you packed. You're a good fellow. Now... We just tie the thread onto this doorknob and unwind it as we go. Here is another thread going down this corridor. No, no, Passepartout. It simply means that we have come full circle. It's our thread. If it weren't there, we wouldn't know which way to go and we would really be lost. And now all we have to do is to follow the thread. Well... We're out of there. Now we have no choice but to try this other door. So far it looks the same, except... Look! Another door and... Welcome to the Hall of Mirrors, mates. It'll take more than a bit of thread to get out of this one. He's looking at you. <laughs> it is all mirrors, monsieur. How shall we ever find the one that will get us out of here? First... We have to find the one that sounds hollow by tapping gently on each panel. You start over there. This sounds hollow, monsieur. But now, how do we get out? There are no hinges. There is no knob. I shall use my diamond stick pin. Now, we cut the outline of the door like this. Then... Parlez-vous! Another passageway. And look, there are stairs at the end of it. Maybe we are out at last. We are almost at the top. Just a few more steps. Hey! Hey! You like my little slide, kiddies? <laughs> Very slippery. Watched it myself, I did. You'll never get to the top of it, Fog. He is right, monsieur. It is too slippery to walk up. We will never make the boat now. Oh, I don't know. Have you forgotten the sandpaper? But of course! 
we just fasten a sheet on the bottom of our shoes with these rubber bands, and up we go! What do you suppose we will find at the top? Another one of Mr. Fix's tricks, I should suppose. And you are right, monsieur. Look at this! Welcome to the all of a hundred doors, and each door has three locks. By the time you find the right door, it'll be too late. <laughs> He passed partout. He has left us a key. Very considerate of him. Parlez-vous! It is simple, then. We shall tap on the doors until we hear the hollow sound. Then we shall open it up. <coughs> what luck, monsieur! The very first one sounds hollow. Quickly, give me the key. One lock, two locks, three locks, open the door, and it is nothing but a closet. They are probably all closets. They will all sound the same. I'm afraid so, my boy. What are we to do? We have no time to unlock 300 locks. It would take all day. We shall light a candle. A candle, monsieur? But why? We have plenty of light. Not for light, but for two. Drafts. Drafts? I do not understand. The door that leads to the outside will have a slight draft of air coming through the keyhole. We will pass the lighted candle in front of each door, and when the candle flame flickers, then that will be the right door. Uh -huh. Try the key, Passepartout. Parlez-vous! We have done it, monsieur! It does look as though it leads somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, it leads somewhere, all right, Mr. Fogg. It leads to the outside. Freedom, Mr. Fogg, but you will never make it. Try walking towards him, Mr. Fogg. <laughs> Look, monsieur, the whole passageway is made of rollers, and it is uphill. See, it is almost impossible to stand up, let alone walk. We are done for, monsieur. We cannot go ahead and we cannot go back. We are through. Nonsense. We will use that roll of carpet we have. May I have it, please? Thank you. Now, we will just roll it up to the rollers. So... What a genius! Now all we have to do is to walk up the carpet like this. Uh, pass part two. Marvelous! Works like a charm. Uh, pass part two. What? Where are you going? Of course not. The rug merely rolls under you. Yeah, let's try again. Now, we must fasten it up there. The darts, Passepartout. Thank you. Now, we can walk up with ease. seconds to go. Parlez-vous! We are free! Where is the committee? We must be at the rear of the house. They're out in front. Quickly! 
Around the world with 